Hello everyone, this is Dean Long from New Tech, and today I would like to demonstrate Datum on the Fly. I'm going to do that uh, by showing how to create a one inch bore through the side of this block, one inch away from the center origin on a 45 degree angle. So I'll select Extrude, Remove Material, and the datum on the fly is accessed through this little pause tool. So I'm going to click my pause tool. I will go over and select my datum. And in this situation, at first I need an axis. So I'll select axis. I'm going to select my right datum plane. Hold down my control key. Select the front. And you'll notice it gives me a little reference axis there. I click OK there, and as long as I am still paused, I can select additional datum features. So in this case, what I'm going to need now is a datum plane that's through that axis, and because it was already pre-selected, it knew that I wanted to go through there. And then I'm going to go over and select my right datum plane, and you'll notice that I have my 45 degree value. I click OK and again I'm still paused so I'm able to go over and grab another datum plane reference and you'll see that it puts it in parallel to the reference datum that was pre-selected and it's already at my one inch uh, depth. So I click OK and that is now my sketching plane and you'll notice that it's building these features in the model tree and you'll you'll see how those actually get put in underneath extrude to and they will be hidden off once we complete the feature. So I have my sketch plane I can resume the extrude tool and that's by clicking that little arrow and we're back to our sketch tool. I orient to my sketching plane I'm going to select a circle. I'm going to change it to one inch. And in this case, I want it to be one inch away from the center. Flip the direction. And I want to go through all. And our bore comes out the side. So that is how you use a datum on the fly. And you'll notice that those construction features that I created as I was creating the hole, or excuse me, the bore, uh, are all hidden off. And it's underneath the feature. It stays nice and tight with the actual feature that you've created. The other thing to keep in mind is that if at some point you want to delete this feature, you'll notice that it gives you this little checkbox. Do you want to keep the embedded datum features? If I leave that checked, then these guys will still stay in the model. If I uncheck that, they will be deleted. So if you guys see this and, and ever wondered what this was, that's what it's doing. And I'll just do it for demonstration. I'll say keep the embedded datum features. Click OK and you'll notice that in the model tree these things stay. And you'll see that they're now not uh, hidden. So the datum on the fly is a really um, great technique. Uh, it's been part of ProE since the beginning, and uh, it's really powerful. So I hope that this tutorial has been of value to you, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Take care. Have a good day.